Hey everyone, it's Karen from Gold Bio. If you're wondering which ready-to-use DNA ladder is right for your research, just stick around and I'll talk about the different types of ladders we offer so you can find the right one. All of Gold Bio's DNA ladders are ready to use, meaning they come pre-mixed with dye, so all you have to do is load them straight into the gel. We have three different types of ladders. We have our general ladders, our plus series ladders, and then we have our versa ladder. I'll start with the first group, which is our general ready to use ladders. Within this group of ladders, we have a 50 base pair ladder, a 100 base pair ladder, and our 1KB DNA ladder. The 50 base pair ladder has 17 fragments ranging between 50 base pairs and 1500 base pairs. It also has reference points, which are just points of intense bands at 200 base pairs and 500 base pairs. The next ladder is our 100 base pair ladder. This one has 11 fragments ranging between 100 base pairs and 1500 base pairs with reference points at 500 and 1500 base pairs. Finally, our last ladder in this set is our 1KB DNA ladder. This ladder has 13 fragments ranging between 250 base pairs to 10,000 base pairs, and the reference points are at 1KB and 3KB. When choosing between these ladders, the first things you should think about is your sample's overall approximate size and the range of your DNA ladder. So for example, our 50 base pair ladder means that the smallest fragment size it can measure is 50 base pairs, and the smallest fragment size our 100 base pair ladder measures is 100 base pairs. Let's say you think your sample is around 55 to 75 base pairs. Then you'd want to pick the 50 base pair ladder since this one will be capable of measuring your sample. Just as it's important to identify the smallest band size a ladder measures, you'll also want to think about the largest fragment size a ladder measures. For instance, if instead you had a sample that was around 2,000 to 2,500 base pairs, you'd want to choose the 1KB DNA ladder. That's because both the 50 base pair ladder and the 100 base pair ladder max out at 1,500 base pairs. The 1KB DNA ladder, on the other hand, has a range between 250 and 10,000 base pairs. Something else that can impact your decision is the size range of all of your samples. You may have some extreme size variability between your samples, and finding a DNA ladder that fits all of those needs is really important because then you can visualize everything in a single gel. This idea of range takes us into the advantages of Gold Bios Plus Series ladders. Gold Bios Plus Series ladders are ready to use, but with that advantage of a much wider size range. Within the Plus Series, we offer our 100 base pair plus DNA ladder and our 1KB plus DNA ladder. Our 100 base pair plus DNA ladder has 12 fragments ranging between 100 base pairs and 3000 base pairs, and it has reference points at 500 and 1500 base pairs. Our 1KB plus DNA ladder has 14 fragments ranging between 250 base pairs and 25,000 base pairs, and reference points at 1KB and 3KB. The increased size range makes the Plus Series ladders a great choice when working with multiple wide-ranging samples. In this case, if you had a sample that was approximately 125 base pairs and one that was maybe around 2,500 base pairs, the 100 base pair plus DNA ladder would work for both samples, whereas the standard 100 base pair ladder would only work for the first sample. While using a single DNA ladder in the Plus series is ideal if, for example, you had a 350 base pair sample, a 5000 base pair sample, and a 20,000 base pair sample, it is important to consider the ranges between each band point. The 1KB Plus DNA ladder is composed of 14 fragments. For the smaller molecular weight regions, the range between two points is 250 base pairs. This could be a little problematic if you're accurately trying to analyze a sample that's, say for example, somewhere between 290 and 375 base pairs. If you need a more accurate measure, either use a general ladder that is closer to your sample size range or consider using our Versa ladder. The Versa ladder has many advantages, making it suitable for several different scenarios. It has 19 fragments ranging between 100 base pairs and 10,000 base pairs, with reference points at 1.5 kb and 3 kb. 
This ladder is a great choice if you're working with samples that vary widely in size range. It's also a great ladder when cloning multiple small fragments into a single vector. In this situation, the Versal ladder lets you visualize all the different small size fragments along with a larger vector all in the same gel. One of the other advantages of this ladder that sets it apart from the 1KB Plus ladder is that the Versa ladder's 19 fragments provides more coverage between each band point. So to clarify, the Versa ladder in the small molecular weight regions has points at every 100 base pairs. So 100 base pairs, 200 base pairs, 300 base pairs, and so on. Therefore, if you had a sample that was about 350 base pairs, it's easier to get a more accurate read on that. What that means is if you're wanting a more accurate measurement and you have a DNA ladder with size variability, that is going to be the best one to choose. So just to recap, the standard ladders are ideal for accurate measurements where there's not a lot of size variability between your samples. The Plus Series ladders are great when you need quick visualization and your sample sizes have some significant variability. And then the Versa ladder offers the best of both because of its size variability allowing you to visualize wide ranging samples while its coverage allows accurate measurements. I hope this video is helpful. Be sure to check out the links below for more resources on this topic. Subscribe, give us a like, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.